a tower of ash and smoke 12,000 feet high. This is the aftermath of the eruption of White Island, taken by a tourist who'd been standing at the edge of the crater just half an hour earlier. An unknown number of people are unaccounted for. The volcano erupted at 2.11 p.m., 1.11 a.m. UK time. This image, taken 10 minutes before on a webcam, shows the tiny figures of people at the very rim. It continues to be an evolving situation. We know that there were a number of tourists on or around the island at the time, both New Zealanders and visitors from overseas. I know there will be a huge uh, amount of concern and anxiety for those who have loved ones on or around the island at the time. Uh, and I can assure them police are doing everything uh, they can. Police believe there were around 50 people on the island when it erupted. 23 have been taken from there. At this stage, it is too dangerous for police and rescue services to go to the island. However, we continue to assess the conditions which would allow us to go on to the island. The island is currently covered in ash and volcanic material. We are taking expert advice with regards to the safety of any rescue attempt. White Island is 30 miles off the shore of New Zealand's North Island, and seven helicopters were quickly dispatched. St John's Ambulance said they believe up to 20 people still on the island require medical treatment. Some of those already recovered were treated for burns, police said. Around 30 to 38 people had travelled to the island from a Royal Caribbean cruise ship called Ovation of the Seas. The volcano is a popular tourist spot, and it had experienced increased volcanic activity in the weeks leading up to today's eruption. A government scientist said this was not a particularly big eruption, more of a throat clearing. But such was the volcano's power that even that has proved deadly. Tom Cheshire, Sky News.